WWE is looking to sell the company by the middle of 2023, according to Dave Meltzer. CM Punk takes a shot at AEW ratings in MJF's Instagram post. Dax Harwood says FTR has been granted the next few months off from AEW TV. And Sting reveals that his contract expires sometime this year. Well, hello there, everyone. It's Denise. Welcome back to another episode of The Latest. And here's the thing. I got a lot for you on this one here today. Dave Meltzer has reported a huge update in regards to WWE potentially selling in 2023. And then on top of that, we got a lot of AEW news to get into. So let's kick things off with where WWE is at in terms of a sale reported by Dave. Take a look. On Wednesday's Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer said that he had a long conversation with people from WWE on Wednesday where they gave the timeline in which they hoped to have the company sold with JP Morgan assisting them as previously reported by CNBC. Meltzer said the media players that have been speculated about are in the mix as is Saudi Arabia. Regarding the rumor that circulated on Tuesday that WWE had been sold to Saudi Arabia's public investment fund, Meltzer said there was smoke to the story, but way too early to be finalized. He also noted that selling to the Saudis appears to be the only option if they want to take the company private. According to Dave Meltzer, WWE CEO Nick Khan was in Los Angeles Monday for the NCAA college football title game, meeting with heavy hitters that included Disney CEO and the head of ESPN. Meltzer also said that Endeavor, who are the owners of the UFC, are also in the hunt. He said Vince McMahon is facilitating working on the sale, but Nick Khan is running the company. He acknowledged that always could change due to the rapid pace of change within WWE right now. That's a wrap for WWE on this video. So now let's go ahead and hop into three stories regarding AEW. Kicking things off with a recent comment that CM Punk left on MJF's Instagram post. While CM Punk's future in AEW is still unknown, it didn't stop him from taking a jab at the company's ratings via an old rival. Current AEW AEW World Champion MJF posted a picture on Instagram showing off two Pro Wrestling Illustrated 2022 award plaques that he won for Most Hated and Feud of the Year with CM Punk. However, he taped over Punk's name on the Feud plaque and put his own name there instead. An hour later, CM Punk offered up his own thoughts in the comments saying, quote, Maybe find some tape for the ratings so nobody sees those either. MJF and CM Punk had a notable AEW feud that ended in a bloody dog collar match at last March Revolution. Punk's status is currently in limbo as he recovers from a triceps injury suffered in September's AEW All Out that preceded a backstage fight after after the show involving the Elite and CM Punk and a Steel that resulted in Steel being fired and the Bucks and Omega disappearing for two months, the fight was a result of Punk's post-event comments at their press conference. Where that all leaves CM Punk in AEW is still unknown. Although Dave Meltzer has previously reported that he and AEW were working on a contract buyout at one point. And Dax Harwood gives us a major update on FTR's future. Speaking on his FTR with Dax Harwood podcast, the 38-year-old noted that he and Cash Wheeler have asked AEW for and have been granted the next few months off of television. The time off could potentially extend up until their contracts with the promotion expires in April. Harwood said, quote, We have asked and been granted the next few months off of television so we can sit back, reflect, decide, let our bodies heal, and figure out what we're going to do for the next few years. Because whatever we decide to do next will be the absolute last thing we do, period, as far as wrestling. He went on to say, I don't see myself in five years going on the independence and wrestling independence. I don't see myself working in five years a Japan tour or a Mexico tour or traveling around the world and wrestling all over places. That's why these next few months are the most important few months for us. He closed it off by saying, So that's my news, is we are going to be away for a little while. I'm not exactly sure how long we'll be away. It may be all the way up until the the end of our contract. 
He would then confirm that FTR's contracts with AEW expire in April. He also said that he and Wheeler are looking at locations for a possible wrestling school, real estate ventures, and potentially opening up a coffee shop. Earlier in the show, Hardwood was asked, about the reaction to comments he made on a previous podcast regarding CM Punk and The Elite. He had suggested that Punk and The Elite work out their differences for the betterment of AEW. And this then led to reports that some people in AEW were not happy with those comments. Dax Harwood said, I can give you 100% God's honest truth. CM Punk has never told me to say anything. All I was trying to do was make things right. That's all. That's the only thing I was trying to do. If I was wrong for that and if I upset those guys or even if I upset Punk, I sincerely apologize. If I upset my office, I sincerely apologize. If I upset anybody else who let Dave Meltzer or know that the locker room is upset with me. If I upset that person, I sincerely apologize. That was not my goal. My goal was to make AEW better. That's all. And speaking of contracts, we got an update on Sting's. Sting's AEW contract is set to expire in 2023. The 63-year-old was profiled in D Magazine on Thursday, and the article noted that his contract is up sometime this year. Sting did debut for AEW at Winter Is Coming on December of 2020. At the time, it was reported that he had signed a multi-year contract with the company. Sting had the following to say regarding how he wants his career to come to an end. Whatever I do, I want wrestling fans to say, that was incredible. I don't want them to walk away going, that was embarrassing. I just want it to be a great memory and then to just finally once and for all to say adios. Well, there you go. That was your episode of the latest for today featuring the top stories in pro wrestling today. Thank you guys so much as always for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to F4W online. Hit me up on Twitter and or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo and I'll catch you on the next vid. And if you want to check out my podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling, the latest episode is my live experience review of AEW Dynamite in Los Angeles.